you are wise, you spent the day with the Lord. If you are wise, you end the day with the Lord. Because all through the day and all through the night, we sing a song about dwelling in His promises, walk in His light. Darkness shall flee at His command. All through the day and night, we're in His hands. While we who are of the day can work, we work in the day. But the night is coming when those who would work in the day cannot. So I pray that each and every day you'll find at the end of your day that you have spent the time wisely redeeming it back unto the Lord. For God Himself has purchased you by the precious blood of His Son that you would do good works in the name of Jesus and that they would be to the glory of God our Father. I pray that today those works would remain that you have done in His name, that they would be tried by fire now so that when you do appear before the Lord, your works would come forth shining in glory as those that were done, not just in the name of Jesus, but because God said to do them. My day is done. My work is over. I have finished the course for that with which I was meant to be today. While it is night and the darkness comes, I ponder and meditate on the works that have been done and accomplished in His name as well as with His glory in mind because the Holy Spirit has taken me through this journey of life today while it was called today. Because you see, tomorrow it will be called yesterday and will no longer be a part of my personal existence, but it will be a memory in the hands of God with which He will record in His book of life that which I have done today. I pray you too in your book have inscribed in the book of life many things that would do you well to recall them today and tonight, that you would meditate on the wisdom of what you have done, that which was done, done and accomplished in the Spirit of God and that which was done and accomplished in the flesh. For as we learn and grow, we determine within ourselves whether we will walk, talk, move, and have our being in Jesus, or whether we will live after our own selfish lusts, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. Nighttime before you rest gives you a time to be at peace. May it not be just a time of television shows and winding down from that with which you had to wind up in order to do. Because if you have to be wound, then you're really not operating according to His love, His grace, and His mercy. But by His Spirit, I pray that this night, you might be able to rest in that with which His Son has done already for you. For in the night watches, Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goeth forth and weepeth, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. That which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be. Blessed be the Lord God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations that the trial of your faith, being more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. For this day that God has made has ended, and the Lord has taken you through the journey, and your faith was made whole and complete. For you have risen to the occasion with which God intended you to be today. He has accomplished His purposes today. 
He has fulfilled his will today. What tomorrow may bring, we do not know. For sufficient is the day and the evil thereof. But God has led you not into temptation, but he has delivered you from the evil. I thank God for you, that you have found in this day, as you walked with God and talked with him in a personal, intimate way, that not only was he with you, but he gave angels his charge over you, that they should prepare you for the time to come when you will meet him face to face, that your righteousness will shine as the glory of the sun and the moon and the stars, that you will not be embarrassed by the things that you have done here on earth, but rather you will be so thrilled with being in the presence of God our Father that you will look back on this time, this place, today, as only being as though you were a baby, crying in a crib and barely learning to walk. When we finally get to heaven, then we will shine forth as the sons and daughters of God that we were meant to be. Until that time, the Lord bless thee. The Lord, our God, keep thee. The Lord make his face and his countenance to shine upon you and grant you this night, all through the night, peace that you might rest in his love, grace that you might know his mercy, and kindness that you might find in your heart the tenderness of Jesus alive and well and living in you. God bless you. God keep you. God give you rest.